You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Kicking off your 11 minutes of nonstop news with a check on your weather and traffic. Good morning, Chesley. Starting out with a cloudy day. Yes, it is. Here behind me is Noonan. You can see where the sun is starting to lighten up the skies just a little bit, but you'll have mostly cloudy skies. It rains not that far away from you, Noonan. It's down to the south of us now, over into uh, parts of Troop Merriweather County, starting to move into extreme southern portions of your county. Right there, you see Moreland, maybe getting on a few sprinkles there. The rain has been light for the most part all throughout the morning, and most of this is pushing a little bit further over toward the east, and I think it will remain south of the city as we head through much of the day. Do have some uh, fog up to the far north and west of the city over toward the Rome area right now. You're down to one mile visibility there, so you'll be driving in and out of some patchy fog. 78 degrees will be your temperature by noon on our way to 86 for an afternoon high. Only a 30% chance for an isolated shower or a thunderstorm later on this afternoon, but most of us will be dry for today. This morning we are learning more about the woman accused of killing two men in a busy part of Midtown. She is in custody this morning. Let's get to Molly Oak who has more on how police tracked her down. Molly? Laisha, Cheryl, we're just now getting a closer look at the woman police suspect is behind what they're calling a targeted shooting in Midtown yesterday. The Fulton County Jail just sent us her mugshot. This is Raisha Kingme, the woman police found at the airport after the shootings. She was in the International Terminal at Hartsfield Jackson. Yesterday afternoon, Atlanta police told people to stay out of the area near Colony Square. They say around 1.45 p.m. they found two people shot at 1280 West Peachtree Street. 15 minutes later and about a half a mile away, police say another man was shot. Police say 60 year old Michael Shinners from Alpharetta died at the first location. According to his social media, Shinners worked for Beacon Management, which owns the condo there. 41 year old Wesley Freeman from Atlanta was shot at the second spot and died at the hospital. And we just confirmed the identity of the third victim who is still hospitalized. Family members tell us Mike Horn is stable but he does have a long road to recovery, many surgeries ahead. He is chief engineer of Beacon Management. Aisha. Molly, thank you for those updates. The story is continuing to devolve. He's sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news. Here's what's happening right now. More suspected gang members tied to a string of celebrity home invasions are now behind bars. Police in Miami, Florida arrested three men over the weekend. The Sandy Springs Police Department says they were indicted on a RICO case. 24 gang members now face 220 charges. We're told the three men arrested in Miami will be brought back to the Fulton County Jail in the coming days. Right now, Georgia is still working to fright the growing monkeypox outbreak. As of this morning, we are still fifth in the country as far as overall case count. Nearly 1,200 people have tested positive for the virus here, and that means there have been more than 120 cases added since Monday. This morning, there's a boil warning in parts of Cobb County. It's for areas surrounding Sweat Mountain because of an outage at a water shortage tank. Customers will be notified once that advisory is lifted. Until then, boil your water or used bottled water. Continuing your 11 minutes of nonstop news, a bird flu outbreak has killed hundreds of wild black vultures at the Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary in Henry County. Say the officials are now trying to help contain the spread. Chrissy Diaz has more. After finding hundreds of dead vultures on the side of Noah's Ark Animal Sanctuary, the Department of Agriculture tested the birds and detected the H5N1 virus, better known as bird flu. Animal care manager Allison Hedgecoth says so far, at least 700 vultures have died. And we're continuing to have vultures die every day, so it could be even higher now. The sanctuary is home to at least 500 birds of other species, now in danger of being euthanized to curb the spread. Already, state officials have humanely euthanized at least 20 to 30 birds on site. All of our chickens were euthanized yesterday and our turkeys and our guinea hens. Together, the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Natural Resources have taken over the site and set up a six mile perimeter to try and contain the spread. Noah's Ark posting on their website. They'll remain closed through Saturday until the virus is contained. It's a really devastating time for the people that work with the animals. Christy Diaz reporting for us this morning. A move to decriminalize marijuana is now in effect in Stonecrest. The city just passed the new rule with a unanimous vote. That means anybody caught with an ounce or less of marijuana will only get a ticket and pay up to a $100 fine. Stonecrest now joins cities like Atlanta and Athens in decriminalizing pot. A church in Conyers known for helping its community is now in need after a fire destroyed everything inside. You're looking at video of what's left of Excel Church on Flat Shoals Road after Friday's fire. 
plastic is melted, chairs burn, ash covering almost every surface. Rockdale Fire says the flames started on the second floor near the sound booth. The pastor says they will rebuild, but it could cost $5 million and take about six months. A huge blow for the community there. By noon today, you're going to be looking at a mix of sunny clouds. Temperatures will be right around 78 degrees by 3 o'clock when the kids are getting out of school. Not as much in the way of those scattered thunderstorms around. We'll only have some isolated showers around 85 degrees will be a temperature by 3. Going up to 86 for the high by 6 o'clock when you're driving home will be right around 84 degrees with those isolated showers. At least the threat for them continuing. Crash said 85 was toast. Toast. Now I want toast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go have some breakfast, everybody. Today's show's coming up next. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Have Get a great day. Peachtree is butter. <laughs>